Still in Lagos, the bus rapid transport driver, Andrew Nice, suspected of murdering 22-year-old fashion designer, Uluwa Bamishe Anyawola, has been arraigned before Justice Sherifat Shonaike of the Lagos State High Court sitting at the Tafawa Balewa Square. He pleaded not guilty to the offenses of rape and murder of Ms. Anyawola in February, as well as another rape incident of a young lady which occurred last November. Kemi Foladeyemo reports. Andrew Nice and others said to be at large were accused of conspiring to rape and murder Bamishe Anyawola at about 1900 hours on February 26, 2022, between Lekki Ajay Expressway and Carter Bridge in Lagos. He's also accused of raping another young lady who's 29 years old last November around the Lekki Conservation Center, which is also on the Lekki Aja Expressway. Dr. G.J. Martins, who is the Director of Public Prosecutions, represented Lagos State, while Isaac Ezequem represented the defendant. Another counsel, Ayo Ademiluyi, announced appearance for the Ayola family. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Dr. Jide Martins, told Justice Shonoike that there is a strong likelihood that the state government will amend the charges against the defendant, Andrew Nice, and that the post-mortem examination of Ms. Anyawala is still pending, the result of which will be brought to the court when it has been conducted. Though the defendant pleaded not guilty to the four counts charge, his lawyer says they will be considering an option of plea bargain. I invite international observers, international forensic observers, international uh, forensic pathologists to so conduct that uh, pathology. It is the opinion, the report of that pathology that would uh, be of use to us. And of course, the prosecution, I know we are watching brief, we can only be seen and not be heard. The prosecution also said they will be available to employ video links, which are so about that. Wonderful enough, uh, the late Babisha Anwola was so gallant enough, was so resolute enough to produce serious video evidence that uh, will be useful in this uh, in this sort. The case was adjourned to May the 9th, 10th and the 11th, 2022, for trial to begin fully, and the defendant was ordered to be further remanded at the Nigerian Correctional Center in Ikoi earlier in March a Yaba chief magistrate's court remanded the defendant for 30 days pending the DPP's legal advice, which has now been issued, prompting the case to be heard at the High Court, which is the tutorially empowered to hear capital offences such as rape and murder. Kemi Foladiemo. TVC News, Lagos. We begin here in Lagos, where President Muhammadu Buhari has commissioned a new terminal at the Moritala Mohammed International Airport, expected to handle 20 million passengers a year. The inauguration of the facility is part of activities lined up for President Buhari's working visit in Lagos. The new terminal comprises four-story main terminal building, three-story finger building, two-story cargo terminal building, Eight, uh, 82,925 square meters apron and external and ancillary works. It also has 60 sets of check-in counters and seven boarding bridges. This event is an eloquent testimony to the strong commitment of our administration to the development of world-class infrastructure across all sectors of the Nigerian economy. Our continuous investment in the building of long-lasting infrastructure in the aviation, road and rail transportation, agriculture, telecommunications and other critical sectors is yielding massive results and the people of Nigeria are now increasingly attesting to benefiting from the associated dividends. Starting from the year 2015, when we commence our first tenure in office as government, we have been deliberate and consistent in identifying and investing in critical projects that will improve the standard of living of our people, as well as cons contribute immensely to our growth and development as a nation. Earlier, the president commissioned $2.5 billion Dangote fertilizer plant in Ibeju, Leki area of Lagos. 
The project, he said, is in line with the government's drive to ensure food sufficiency in the country. The multi-billion dollar facility was commissioned, an event well attended by many political, traditional and religious leaders, as well as key members of the private sector from various parts of the country, including the host governor, Babajide Songwulu. The Dangote fertilizer plant is Africa's largest granulate, granulated urea fertilizer complex, which occupies 500 hectares of land in a lucky free trade zone and was built at about $2.5 billion. Elsewhere, armed policemen have taken over the Cross River State House of Assembly. According to reports, the policemen are drawn from the anti kidnapping squad and regular policemen. They were also seen around the routes leading to the House of Assembly. Meanwhile, movement into the assembly complex on Des Diamond Hill has been restricted. The presence of the policemen followed the Federal High Court Abuja ruling on Monday, which sacked 20 lawmakers in the state for defecting from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressives Congress. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Akali Baba, has charged senior police officers to always commend their personnel who have ex exemplarily excelled in their duties, which have in turn impacted positively on the goodwill and image of the Nigerian police force. The IDP gave the charge while commending the performances of some officers and men across the state commands, particularly Sergeant Samson Ek Ekikiri, attached to 22 police mobile force Ikeja Lagos, for his common professionalism exhibited on the 19th of March when he painstakingly recovered a wallet belonging to one Mr. Lukman Abaja and traced the owner to deliver the found item. The IDP equally commended Sergeant Yahaya Ahmed attached to Haya Sharia Court Tundu Wada Division Guso Samfara State for rejecting the sum of 300,000 Naira bribe offered to him by one Chukuka Jude who was arrested at the same court on the 18th January for the offense of false presentation and cheating by impersonation. Also, he commended, also commended was CSP Akinkume, who was head of operations at the police radio. IGP Usman Baba assures the entire police workforce of sustainable efforts in improving their condition of service.